Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision and Happy New Year to everybody and with the new year that gets us back into our weekly routine of talking to our great coaches here at Maryville and what a terrific weekend for our women's basketball team. They take care of their business on the road. Joining us is their head coach, Colin Lanham and Colin, what a great weekend for the ladies and, and I, honestly, I think probably 40 minutes of basketball between the two games, it's probably the best I've seen out of our ladies in a couple years. Yeah, you know, definitely the first half against Lindenwood was probably one of the most complete halves we've played maybe since I've been here. Yeah. Um, defensively, offensively, we were getting it done. We were very efficient. Um, you know, kind of what we talked about before the game is do what you do to the best of your, your abilities, and, and we did that. The right people were taking the right shots. Uh, we were very unselfish. We had a lot of assists on our field goals. So um, that was great defensively. You know, we were doing exactly what we wanted to um, and making it tough on Lindenwood. So, you know, that's probably one of the best 20 minutes, you know, in terms of the UMSL game. Um, really good second half uh, from a mental standpoint, you know, probably not the best in terms of execution. But um, when you talk about the fight and the resiliency coming back from a deficit, um, just kind of knowing, hey, we need to shake the rust off here for having not played for a while. Um, you know, I think the girls really responded and, and never really lost faith in each other. Um, we talked a lot about that, playing for your teammates and, and playing for those around you, not just for yourself. And I think you know, we really showed that in the second half. You know, and, and Mary's, Mary does what Mary does. I mean, we, we talk about that all the time. I think the biggest spark in the UMSL game in the second half was, was Jada. I mean, she knocked down some shots early and really did a great job and staying in the offense, staying within herself and not really trying to overcommit to doing things. Yeah. Well, back to Mary, you know, I think a lot of people take her for granted. Yeah. And and that was something that, that she and I talked a lot about is, you know, even though she's not maybe not getting all the accolades and she's not getting all the – you know, the exposure because everybody expects her to be that good. We still need to take time to recognize what she's done for the program and, and what she's doing for this team right. as a leader. I mean, she's, you know, averaging well over 20 points for the weekend and almost a double-double against Lindenwood, not turning the ball over, but getting everybody involved. I mean, what she's done in her growth, you know, over yeah. the past four years has been huge. And, and you know, with our league, there's just there's some, a lot of really good players and you know she's playing anywhere else maybe she's getting some of the the conference player of the weeks and, and different things like that but um you know at the end of the day she's our rock she's what what keeps us going so we got to make sure that we do give her credit where it's due um jada she's that next in line you know she's just when, when she's on and she's confident she's one of the best players in the league defensively i thought against umsol she was fantastic against uh daniel berry which is one of their their better players stayed in front um you know gotten a little bit of foul trouble in the first half which i think gave her a little extra gas in the second so you know she came out she hit some shots she did what what we know she's capable of and so just to try to get that consistency and, and confidence in her you know to kind of become that next front line and the next you know, yeah. the next Mary, so to speak. Um, you know, we're not going to put that pressure on her, but we know what she's capable of. And our bigs had a great weekend, too. I mean, you, you look at – and once again, we've talked about Abby, and it's just great to see her out there and competing and doing some great things after the injury bug really bit her for a little bit of time here. You know, but – the, the the freshman, you know, coming in and stepping up big in big situations. Yeah. Probably the biggest thing for Abby that I'm most proud of is just how she responded. Yeah. You know, she was in the plus minus. She was she was up there even though she didn't have a great offensive game against Umsel. Uh, while she was on the floor, she was doing good things. I think she rebounded as well uh, defensively as I've seen her in a while. Really good blocking out and trying to keep their bigs off the off the offensive glass. And it was just nice to see her. You know, I told the coaches on the bench, on the bench uh, against Lindenwood, she got the tip and scored the first basket. And I said, it's going to be a night for Abby. And, and it was. You know, she didn't disappoint, um, was very composed in times where, where we needed her to step up and be a senior. So, you know, it's really good to see her have that, the success and the time and effort that she's put in. Um, you know, we just want her to continue to grow on that and get even, you know, continue to get even better than she is right now, not just be content, but let's go out and try to be the best center in the conference. Right. Uh, you know, Carly and Cece had a great week in between the two of them um, you know each of them stepped up at different times and in different games which was which was really refreshing to give us that that extra depth at the post position um, you know and, and we're figuring a lot of things out on the fly right now losing Taylor before the break um, has forced them to play the, the three of them to play together a lot more than we had expected and so you know we're all kind of learning a little bit as we go here but they're they're very coachable they're very competitive and they're trying to do the best that they can and the conference isn't getting any easier. Another two-game road trip this week. We go Quincy and Truman. 
two teams that that have traditionally given us great games. We've given them great games, and it doesn't. I don't think this weekend's going to disappoint anybody. No, you know Quincy's coming off of a, a split this weekend, uh, but they're you know, talking with with their coaches. They're just they're a different team this year. Their energy is different. They're they're very competitive. They're they're confident and they're getting some things done and it, it's showing on the floor. So, so kudos to them. It's going to be a game. Um, you know, what we're going to have to do is fight the, the stigma of who Quincy's been over the past couple of years right. on paper. Like you said, every game that we've played against them has been competitive um, and they've given us our run a few times in the past. So, you know, if we come out complacent thinking just because, you know, they might have been picked lower in the league or they may not have won as many games in the past, this team isn't that same group. Um, this is a completely different team that's got a, got a, a shot at, you know, messing some people up when it comes to the conference tournament and what their hopes are. So we've got to be prepared to come out. They're very efficient offensively right now, shooting at a high percentage inside and outside the arc. So it's going to be a, a tough one for us defensively. Truman, you know, they never drop off. We always, it's always a, a war against them for the last three years. So I don't expect anything differently. Um, they're coming off a great weekend, a couple of 20 point wins, um, which are hard to come by in, in the conference play. So, you know, their offense is, is, clicking right now so it's going to be a good challenge for us no doubt about it. well good luck this weekend we'll talk to you next week buddy thanks a lot colin lanham joins us as he will every week here during the basketball season once again the ladies will play at quincy on thursday 5 30 tip there and then on saturday one o'clock up in pershing arena up in kirksville uh, against the truman state bulldogs both games will be on the glvc sports network if you can't follow there follow us on twitter at maryville saints we'll keep you updated all weekend long on how our women's team is doing on the road before they come back for a nice four game home stand starting next thursday night for coach i'm jim powers thanks so much for tuning in to maryvillesaints.com and saints vision have a great week and as always go saints